Namaste everybody, welcome, good morning. So we've been talking about exercise two, observing the body and the self by the self. Um, in step one, we tried to see the two realities, the self and the body, that these are two existential realities that exist and that are distinct from one another. We heard that as information, now we're trying to observe it within ourselves. In step two, we were trying to see the interaction between the self and the body, that some instructions are being sent to the body. There are some sensations in the body which I am reading. And all of this, that is this exchange that is happening between the self and the body, all of this is in the form of information. Nothing physiochemical, nothing um, physical is being transferred from one to the other. This is all information. In step three, we were trying to see who is the decision maker in this whole process. Um, in fact, can we go back to the previous slide? We didn't come to this slide, no? Previous. Yeah, we were at this. So, um, we were asking this question, who is deciding? So when we are giving the instruction, I'm the one choosing to give the instruction. Based on many events in the body, there are some sensations in the body. I choose to read the sensations that I think are pertinent, that are important for me at a particular time. So I choose to read those. Based on what I read, I make, you know, I take out the meaning from it or I attach meaning to these, whatever sensations I read. And I come to some decision and then accordingly give the instruction to the body. This we were trying to observe. Are we able to see that I am deciding or is it sometimes appearing as if the body is deciding? And in yesterday's reflection, we were trying to see if we can notice this for ourselves in the various activities throughout the day. When you're walking, when you're talking, when you're sitting down, when you're eating something at meal times, when you feel thirsty, when you sneeze, when you cough, when there is pain in the body. So if you were able to do this and if you have any observations that you'd like to um, discuss or talk about, um, we can hear them now. Were we able to do this um, yesterday? Were we able to reflect on this in the various, when you yawn, when you cough, what we call reflex actions sometimes during this process, are you able to see who is deciding? At those times, is it the body or is it the self? You can raise your hand also. If there is a doubt or question about this, you can discuss it. Or if you could observe something about this, we can put forward your observation. Vishalji is saying for some time we could observe. Yeah, if at all we could observe at any time, we can try to see, you know, 
what happens at these times. We discussed already about meal times when you are hungry. Who is deciding? Body or self? You can put in chat or you can raise your hand and speak. When you feel hunger, who is deciding this? In this interaction between the self and the body. Okay, we can see in the chat, many people are replying self. All right. How about when you're sneezing or coughing? Is it the self that is deciding or is it the body that is deciding? Can you answer that in the chat? When you sneeze, when you cough, is it the self or the body? Okay, there are many, uh, some people are saying self, some people are saying it is automatic, it is the body. Okay, so if anybody would like to raise their hand and talk about this, why you say any of the two, particularly? Okay, there are now many hands raised, but what we'll do is uh, we need to go forward also a little bit. We'll move forward a little bit and then we'll come back to the raised hands. Yes, so this is what we have been trying to discuss. I, the self, I am the seer, seer meaning I'm the one who's seeing, observing. I am the doer, the one who does. Of course, it is through the body when it comes to the actions in the body. And I am the enjoyer or experiencer of these actions. So I see, I observe, as and when required, I use the body to see. See meaning not just through the eyes, but through all the five sense organs. So just like how you hear, you touch, you taste, you smell, you also see. Seeing is also sensation. The eyes are then the sense organ. They're also you know, if there is any confusion that the body is seeing, we've all studied this, that an image is formed on the retina. And in fact, it is an inverted image. So who is making use of this sensation and giving meaning to it? Who is actually deciding what it is? So try to reflect on that. You'll notice that I'm the one who decides to see. There are so many images being formed on the retina, but I notice or I decide to see only one thing out of that. There is a crowd of people, but you are looking for your friend who told you that you will meet he will meet you or she will meet you there. Now you're searching only for that face. You may not recall anything else. The moment you see that person, now all else seems to fade away. You're only seeing that person. That person starts walking towards you. You start walking towards that person. Still all the images are there. But now you're not looking here or there. You're just looking at that person coming towards you. So like that, you'll notice that you are the one who's deciding to see what to see. Sensations are there. The images are there. The reflections are there. But 
I am choosing to see what I see. This you can observe very nicely if you see, you know, for those of you who like to take pictures, if you see a beautiful sunrise or a beautiful sunset and you decide to capture it on your phone camera. Later on, when you look at the photo, do you feel the experience is the same? Or does it seem like what you actually saw was prettier, more beautiful than when you looked at the phone? What do you think? Can you answer in the chat? What does it look like when you are seeing that beautiful picture? Yeah, the earlier one, there is difference. It's not the same. Why is it not the same? Because the camera is catching the whole thing the entire expanse, whatever is coming in its view. But when you are looking at that view, you are focused on that sunrise or sunset. Isn't it? You are giving meaning to it. You are the one who is looking at it as beautiful. But essentially, you are almost like you have zoomed into that. So like that, you can see that you are deciding what to see. So you are the observer. And you use the body like a tool, like an instrument. I decide to do. So as and when required, from time to time, I give instructions to the body. So I am the doer. And I am the one who experiences happiness and unhappiness. So I am the enjoyer, the experiencer. So I experience a sunrise. I consider it beautiful. I give meaning to it that it is beautiful. And I experience the happiness from it. Yeah. Next slide, please. So now we'll try to do this. Choose a comfortable posture to sit in and try not to change this body position for 10 minutes. You can decide what posture is comfortable for you to sit in. Try not to change this posture for about 10 minutes. You can keep your eyes open or you can keep them closed. And closely try to observe your interaction with the body. So you're not, you're going to give the decision to the body not to change the body position. But if there is any change in the body position, if there is any movement of any body part, try to observe who is deciding this, self or body. Try to see what kind of sensations you are able to read from the body and try to observe what instructions you are giving to the body. We'll do this for 10 minutes, then we'll come back to the observations and the raised hands. So I'll mute myself here for 10 minutes. Let's do this. And everybody, for all of us, we'll try to observe this more closely today, that who is deciding in all our interactions, who is the decision maker, self or body, and are we able to see that I am the one who is seeing, doing, experiencing. The body is just going along with my decision. This part we'll try to observe today and we'll take your observations tomorrow. And all the raised hands, perhaps you can just bring forward your observations tomorrow morning at 5.30.